good morning guys welcome back to a vlog i deleted the intro clip because i was so stupid and went through my memory card the other day and just deleted a load of footage that i didn't really think about and then i realized oh my god that was this week's vlog not last week's vlog so hi welcome back to a vlog i think i spoke at the beginning about how i had obviously kind of got my content back to normal but i didn't want you guys to think that i wasn't still thinking about black lives matter and sharing it because i know that last week's weekly vlog focused primarily on that and if you haven't watched it i urge that you do because not only is the money being donated to two separate charities but also i put loads of like resources in the description of that video and i think if you're looking for somewhere to start in terms of where to research what to watch what to read that video was really helpful but I didn't want to go into this week just really blase and not speak about it at all because obviously it is still such a current issue and it's not going away anytime soon but also this vlog is just going to be a regular weekly vlog I'm going to leave links again in the description as to where you can sign petitions and donate if you haven't already and I would love the conversation to continue in the comments but I just wanted to address it at the beginning really because I think the, fo the focus was so heavy in last week's vlog it felt weird to jump from that vlog to this vlog straight away because I know there are some of you that just watch the weekly vlogs so so yeah hi it's monday apart from it's not because i'm refilming the clip because i'm dumb and then we move pretty much straight on into the day so i'm gonna let the vlog continue sorry about that shouldn't have been an idiot and formatted my memory card i have got a smoothie in this we have honeydew melon pineapple juice mixed raspberries and strawberries and i think that's it my only issue with smoothies is I don't love having bits in them and as soon as you put berries in you always have bits but still really good so before we get further into this video i wanted to chat to you guys about skillshare if you watch the vlogs regularly you will probably realize that i have an ongoing partnership with them which is absolutely amazing because i love skillshare i love the idea of expanding your education and learning new things and so if you haven't heard of it which i'm pretty sure you probably have skillshare is an online learning community and it has so many classes on there every single time i sit and chat to you guys about skillshare i say that there is something for everybody but i really genuinely mean that honestly they have so so many different classes on there things like graphic design illustration animation to slightly different things like marketing being a freelancer being an entrepreneur which i actually find really interesting but over the last couple of weeks i have actually been watching a lot of their photography classes if you guys follow me over on instagram i've said a couple of times that i really want to up my photography game and use the platform for what it's for and kind of improve my photography a little bit and skillshare is amazing for that Pretty much all of the classes are under 60 minutes, meaning that you can fit them into your day super easily. It's really great if you're like me and you always seem to be in a little bit of a rush, but it's also just super helpful if you're creative, but sometimes you don't know how to channel your creativity. Because it also gives you so many new ideas for like different projects, different things you could try, which is personally why I love it, because I saw so many different photography tutorials and ideas on there that I thought, oh my God, I could definitely channel this into my own Instagram. I, I could probably use the skills that they're showing me and put them to use myself, which is actually amazing. I definitely felt a lot more inspired than I had in recent times. My personal favorite thing about this ongoing partnership with Skillshare is that they're offering the first 1,000 of you guys to sign up to Skillshare and get the first two months for free, which I just think is amazing. So there's a link in the description down below. I think it'll be the top line and you can use that to get the first two months for free, which is just insane. You can test it out, you can see if it's for you, you can work out what you like and just have a play around with it. I definitely think it's worthwhile and now is the perfect time to try new things. I keep mentioning this, but honestly, I know that so many of you guys, kind of like me, have struggled with feeling a bit overwhelmed and a bit stressed and a bit anxious over the last couple of weeks and months which trust me is totally understandable I think this is a great way of balancing your creative side but also distracting yourself and doing a little bit of self-care and working on something purely just for you which I think is amazing so the link to Skillshare will be in the description definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't already and thank you as always to Skillshare for working with me on this inclusion in the vlog without further ado we're going to continue with the regular weekly vlog but yeah definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't already guys it is now around 3 p.m and i'm just gonna pop to the supermarket to try and buy a cocktail shaker and a cocktail strainer because to make the drinks that i was talking about earlier you need both of those and i thought we had a cocktail shaker but we don't but i have just spent the last two hours 
trying to sort out holiday bookings uh, nothing new tom and i were meant to be spending next week in corfu which would have been lush i was very excited obviously corfu is a greek island and we were going to go there spend like a week basically it was our summer holiday generally whenever i go anywhere with my friends i try and book them out of school time and i thought yeah middle of june solid time to go to greece uh, obviously i'm not doing that so i was like it doesn't really matter i'll just get a refund off booking.com bigger things going on you know um apart from booking.com just automatically rebooked the trip for the same date next year without asking me without anything and i was like well i don't want to rebook it for the same date as next year i'd just rather get it refunded because obviously i don't know what we're doing next year and then they were like oh no we can't do that we can either give you a voucher or we can just rebook it for you so i don't really know what's going on there hmm don't know what to do for the best now because um, the queue for Morrison's is really long and I'm like, well, do I want to stand in a queue when I don't really need a full shop? I'm taking up space and I feel a bit in the way because like I feel like I shouldn't be going to the shop just to get two things, even though I know that's not really a thing anymore. But anyway, basically, I'm opposite B&M and B&M has no queue and I feel like there's a potential they may sell cocktail accessories. So I might just look in B&M first so I don't have to queue for the supermarket. Also, oh my God, right? So on the same bit of land where Morrison's is in my like hometown in Beverly, there is the McDonald's, like there's a McDonald's drive through. There are no cars in it. None. Zero cars. Do I get a McDonald's just for the sake of there being no cars in the queue? completely unsuccessful in either location and i got stressed because there was a lot of people and i couldn't work out how to do the one-way system and i think i went the wrong way and then i couldn't be bothered to go to mcdonald's because i was just feeling stressed so i thought you know what i'll try i'll try my local corner shop so in i go and i'm like i don't think we're gonna have anything like that in here it's a really small co-op and i was like well you never know sometimes they sell random stuff go in didn't have one bought myself a my protein gooey filled cookie because it was just staring at me didn't need this i don't know why i did this but i felt disheartened because i hadn't got anything from any of the shops bought a snack it just wasn't a good 10 minutes it just was not a good 10 minutes I'm gonna go in the house <laughs> putting it behind me and i'm thinking you know what doesn't matter molly it's not that deep i'm gonna go and enjoy my my protein cookie whilst i have none of the items i went out for at least i've got a snack right it is 8 30 in the evening which means one thing it is cocktail time so there are two cocktails in this kit so basically the company are east yorkshire based local to me so if you're from this area definitely recommend checking them out they're called piano bar events and this is their perfect measure gift box so i think you could buy them as a present you could order one for yourself and inside comes two cocktails so this one is called passion of seville um, and this one is called pretty in pink so this one is gin based and this one is spiced rum which sounds delicious looks like a porn star martini um, and i just think these are lovely gifts if you know somebody that's into cocktails or into drink really recommend checking them out especially if you're from my area i keep talking about how to support local businesses right now but this is such a good way of doing it and when they reached out to me i was like absolute bonus that you're based in east yorkshire because i'm all here for a cocktail so me and my mum are gonna make them my mum's gonna have the pretty in pink gin one and i'm gonna have the passion of seville obviously you know i didn't get the shaker and i didn't get the strainer but my mum said we have shakers they're just not strictly cocktail shakers so i'm sure we'll make it work so we need two glasses oh my mum will want a gin glass we don't have any of those like cocktail style glasses so i'll just have it in a glass like this so in the kit you have various different things first off we have some soda water we have an orange we have whatever these are not sure what that is then this is called bosford chambord don't know what that is this one here is liber libertian rum or something pineapple juice passion fruit and lemon and this one is cranberry juice vanilla and foma so these are the ingredients oh and then a tiny little thing of marmalade so cute i'm obsessed with this right this is really not going to look as good as this says but we're just going to make the best of the situation we have that's what lockdown is all about so the method is add all ingredients to a cocktail shaker stir to mix the marmalade add the ice to the shaker shake for 30 seconds then pour the liquid into a martini glass through your strainer so we don't have a martini glass or a strainer so we're just gonna work with what we've got boys mum's just informed me we do have a martini glass yeah that's a little bit better this is a little bit better <laughs> okay mum which is yours what do you want to say i don't always wear this hoodie she has other clothes your drink is I've got it. turn it over it says it on the front Ooh, pretty in pink and it's a gin-based cocktail. So do you want to go first or shall I go first? 
What do we do? Okay, so the methods on here, you basically Ooh. just add everything to the shaker. This is the best we've got, guys. Not as glamorous as a cocktail bar, but it doesn't matter. We need ice. Get the ice out of the freezer, boys. Learn a bit Australian. First step is to put the ice into the shaker. And then I think it just says add all of the ingredients and shake, doesn't it? Go okay. on. Oh, get you. You're going to be a, what's the thing, mixologist by the end of this. It's Monday. It's a Monday night. Is this acceptable? Yeah, anything goes. It's Fair. locked down. Yeah, that's it. And then you want to shake that with all your heart for 30 Jones. seconds. <laughs> Oh my god, it actually looks sick like that. Right, and then you want to pour it into your glass. Yours is in at least the correct glass. Oh, get you. Oh, get Have you ever worked in a bar? Mm, it's kind of, sort of. On and off. On and off. Oh my god, that looks so good, Mum. <laughs> that looks sick. I'm not going to add any more of that. There's going to be bartenders like, it doesn't. There's far too much froth yeah, on that. But it looks, it looks like it'll taste delicious. And what's, then you've got to... What's the potpourri then? <laughs> you add it to the top. Oof. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, bougie! Look at that! She a bougie queen. Right, it's my turn. The camera's out of focus, but what's new there? For mine, I'm gonna rinse this out. Obviously, we don't want it tasting of gin. Ice. And then it just says, add all of the ingredients to a cocktail shaker. Oh, I need a stirrer to mix in the marmalade. Mum, that looks amazing. <laughs> Got to stir in some marmalade. Right, where's the list of this bad boy? This is definitely for this. Guys, it smells. Oh, it smells good. Into the glass it goes. Whoa. Does it go on the top? No, I think we just plonk it on. Oh, wow. We be cocktail queens. Oh my God, shall we do a taste test? Okay, taste test. Mate. I would honestly pay like ten pounds for that. Oh, that's delicious! I would go out and buy this and would not question it because it tastes so freaking good. Can I try yours? Mmm, that's amazing. Oh, that is nice. This is Christmassy. Mm. That's really Christmassy, and that's quite summery. What do you think of that one? You're gonna say that's too sweet for you. It's sweeter than that, but it's still delicious. I really rate these. You know what, guys? I really recommend you check them out. They're called Piano Bar Events, and this is their perfect measure gift box, East Yorkshire based. We're gonna go and enjoy our drinks now because I have a quiz night. Are you happy with this one? This is one of the I best mean, things we've been gifted I mean, with. Monday night. Keep the alcohol coming, boys. <laughs> Say good morning. Say good morning. Are you being rude? Hi. Hi. Good morning, good morning, guys. It's Tuesday. I have just washed my hair, went for a walk this morning, did a workout. If you haven't watched the video I uploaded on Tuesday, I've basically been doing the two-week Chloe ting ab challenge and i finished that today thank god take my nail varnish off and i'm gonna repaint my nails black with this like blue glitter over the top so this is the finished color admittedly they're not painted particularly well but i do absolutely love the color that they are once the blues over the top of the black i think it's so pretty yeah i definitely could have done a better job i'm not the best nail painter okay i have now got ready and i've done this makeup look where it's like blue and purple don't know if you can really see it um, every time I don't have blue eyeshadow on, I think, oh, I think that'll suit me as if I've never done it before. And then I put blue eyeshadow on and I don't like it and it happens every single time and I don't know why I think it's going to be different. But every time I'm like, this time I'll be different, it'll look really good. And it never does. So yeah, I don't rate it, but I've done it now. I thought we'll go for like a bit of a blue pearlescent theme. Don't know why, absolutely not going anywhere. I have some bits to film for a brand, which usually I wouldn't do a full face of makeup for, but honestly, I just haven't worn makeup, like foundation and eyeshadow for about two, three weeks. And I was bored, so I thought, yeah, I'll just go and do some makeup. But yeah, right now I do just have a brand deal I need to film, send off, and then I'm actually going to walk over to Tom's this evening to collect a cake. I'm very excited about this, and I'm very excited to show you it, because yesterday I got a text saying, I'm baking you a cake, but it won't be ready until tomorrow, and I was like, oh my god, what is it? And he won't tell me, and I think I know what it is, but yeah, I have to go and collect that when he's home from work, and we're going to have that for dessert after we've had dinner, and I'm so excited, because... But first, I need to film the brand bit that I said I was going to. Okay, I've just tried to style my hair a little bit because it um, was driving me up the wall because I don't really have a part in, so it just kind of falls all over my head. Um, but I parted it like this and I thought, oh, I'll put a bobble in it. So I've done like a half up, half down. I've begun to realise that it's actually wider in width than it is in length. Like, why is it so wide? Because if you were to straighten my hair, I don't have that much. Like, it's not ridiculous. It's just a regular amount of hair. But it's so frizzy and curly right now 
that it genuinely sticks out longer this way than it goes down my head. So I would have fitted in way better in the 80s, man. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday now. Last night after I filmed those clips, my camera battery died because I hadn't charged it. So I've got the cake to show you because Tom brought around the cake. Uh, but it's Wednesday morning, basically. Nothing else happened last night. And I thought I would do a little hair update on my curly girl like routine. I uploaded it, I think last week two weeks ago now for you guys and a lot of the comments said once your hair is like two days old or three days old you could probably do to wet it again to get the curls to like kind of you know revitalize and come back to life so i've got this little like mister and i don't know what this is actually for but it's not for hair Hi mom. my mum's just shouted it was for hair, it's from the hair section. So what you guys told me to do was just mix a little bit of my Curly Girl like conditioner into some water, shake it up and spray it onto my hair. And as soon as I saw these comments I thought, oh my god, I used to do that when I was little. Like when I was younger, before I would go to school, my mum would spray my hair with water. And I just stopped doing that at some point and obviously forgot about it. And then when I saw the comments I was like, oh yeah, that is a thing. Even though to be honest, for second day hair it's actually still quite curly. That's because I've been sleeping with it right on the top of my head. So as you guys also commented, that i found your tips really helpful because there's obviously loads of you that have been doing it for years okay i put the conditioner in the water but it looks so disgusting it just looks like loads of tiny little frogs or something oh i don't like that at all hopefully when i shake it up it'll like mix together okay now that that's a bit more mixed i reckon you have to shake it like that every day i'm just gonna spray it let me check is it spraying no oh this is a very fine mist it's like a like I've gone out in the rain. Right, now that my hair is solidly pretty wet, I'm just gonna spray it a bit more on the front bits. And cool, that's pretty much it. Like, wait for it to dry again. But I do think, I actually do really think that that has helped almost instantly, which is amazing because now my curls look a bit healthier. Pretty happy with this. Day two, it doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna continue to scrunch it a little bit. Let me know in the comments if it should be damper. Like, I don't know if you can see that it is damp, um, but let me know if it should be like more damp. So this morning, my mum actually used the Moroccan oil hair, what was it called? Like color treatment, I think. Basically, we got sent them last week. I put them on Instagram. So I'll put the story on the screen so you can see what they are because I don't have it to hand. But she's now got a little pink tinge to the front bits of her hair. And you can't properly see it. However, it's taken better than the time I tried to dye my hair pink, so. It's just taken in the bits that are blonder anyway. Yeah, because obviously my mum's got quite dark hair. So if you're watching this and you're properly blonde or you're they like peroxide blonde and you've dyed it, they would work so well. Because look at the colour of my mum's hair and you can still kind of see like a pink tinge on the front mm. a little bit. Um, it feels really nice as well, it's really, really soft. Yeah, it's meant to be a conditioning, so it's kind of like a hair mask, a conditioning mask, yeah. but then it also kind of dyes yeah. your hair a bit. Oh, it does feel soft, my hair feels horrible at the moment. It's really crunchy. But anyway, yeah, so that, thought I'd just give a little update. Also, additionally, in the post this morning, I also received these four scrunchies. So these are off a girl that actually follows me over on Instagram, and she has the at scrunchies by Lucy. I'll put them on the screen, but I just think these are really gorgeous colors. I actually don't own a black scrunchie, and this would match literally everything. So thank you so much, Lucy, for sending these my way. Good luck with your business and everything, and I'll leave her link down below if you're interested in buying some handmade scrunchies. So yeah thank you did you get wet in the rain it's chucking it down and she's just been for a walk and she's all soggy okay so purely out of boredom i've decided i'm gonna go and get myself a costa because i think in a vlog either last week or two weeks ago um i told you that our local costa drive through has reopened um and it's about 20 minutes 20 minute drive so it's a bit excessive just to get a coffee however um i've got an afternoon of editing and i'm already kind of bored and just like i haven't really done anything this week because the weather's been so bad and we've been so lucky with lockdown being that the majority of the time the weather's been pretty good but it's just rained all week so I've barely been out on walk. I haven't like seen anybody for like outdoor socializing. So I'm going to get a Costa because that's the highlight of my week. It's almost my turn. Oh, it is my turn. I thought we'd do a boots haul because as I was driving back from Costa, the roads are very quiet and I thought I kind of need to pick up a few bits from Boots. So my mum's just got back, she's in the car next to me. So I thought I'd pick up a few bits and show you just to save ordering them because I was going to order off Boots or Superdrug online. But then I thought, no, I'm literally going past. I'll save on the delivery fee. I'll just pick it up. And it was empty. It was very good. So it's a very quick haul. I have got the Herbal Essences shampoo and conditioner because my shampoo and conditioner that I was using for my Curly Girl method has run out and I figured 
decided I want to just buy one that's from a high street rather than like a specific curly girl shop. And a lot of you recommended herbal essences and on the back it says no parabens, no colorants, no paraffins and basically all that good stuff. I think, oh no, it does have alcohol in it. Oh no. Well, maybe these aren't, maybe these aren't good for the curly girl method. Use them up anyway, probably because um, a lot of people did recommend herbal essences. These ones do have a lot of things not in them, but it does have alcohol in them. But yeah, these herbal essences, bourbon and manuka honey, deep repairing shampoo and conditioner. And then I also just bought myself the, the Maybelline Lush Sensational Mascara because I have run out of any good mascaras. Like I have quite a few just like cheap ones, but I don't have any that I like know that I love. And this is my all time favorite. So just because I was walking past the aisle and I felt like treating myself for no apparent reason whatsoever bit annoyed about this i should have read the back properly but i was really conscious of touching things like i didn't want to pick the shampoo bottles up to read the back of them to put them back i'll be all right if not my mum will be grateful for these let's go let's go also i got my costa obviously so this is the cake that i didn't film last night but it is an orange what would you call this like an orange drizzle cake it's basically the same kind of format as a lemon drizzle but it's made with orange and it's got little bits of orange in the middle and then we had it with ice cream and tom made us the whole loaf which is just amazing so having some more tonight Got a solid 10 out of 10 by everybody's ratings, isn't it? No. Did. Did you not give it a 10? What did you give it? 11. Where are we, Mum? I've got some acetylene. I've come out. Okay. <laughs> right now that Mum's just looked like an actual crazy person. No, should we do that again? <laughs> no, we're not doing that again. <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's Thursday and mum and I have come to Massillon because no reason at all. No, there is a reason. What is do you that? want? No, I want some I've been decorating the downstairs toilet and I want some bits and bobs to finish it off. In yeah. The, yeah, basically weekend. everything that could have been decorated, we've decorated it. And now mm, there's just no, like not really. Well mum still thinks there's things to go, but I would say judging by how how much of a mess the house has been and how much paint there has been everywhere. Rude. Mainly all on dad. <laughs> <laughs> but we're at Massillon, basically our local Massillon's real opened i'm not sure if they've opened nationwide i think they yeah. have but anyway if we're going to Massillon, mainly to just go to the home section because oh yeah, we're yeah. Ah, we love it and it's thursday by the way i never said that i don't know how to act in social situations, situations. me neither so they have two meter distancing stickers on the floor in here also it's very empty as you can see like there's not really a risk of having to be two meters apart from anybody because there's nobody in here from them people but yeah it's like an arrow system so you can only walk one way around if you're thinking of going this is a vlog of the experience. Mum, how are you finding it? I love this section. This is like so me. I actually don't have anywhere. I oh, know I do. I was going to say I don't have anywhere pink, but my office is pink. I don't really need any of this, but like I am quite tempted. If I didn't already have a circular mirror, I love this. What's happening, Mum? You tell them. Getting in my kiss. <laughs> <laughs> That's intrusive. Thank you. <laughs> do I eat it or do I serve it for Harry? He doesn't know that we've got him one, so you can definitely just eat it. No, I'm being good. All I can say, guys, was that they were divine. And I had forgotten what McDonald's tasted like. And I am not even a big McDonald's fan. Like, I'm gonna hold my hands up and say, I like McDonald's as much as the next person, but it's not my favorite. I don't know. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, what? But like, it's just not my first choice of tea. Mozzarella dippers as a snack or like as an addition to your lunch are elite. And I'd forgotten what they tasted like. And also we got fries with them and I just forgot what McDonald's chips taste like. I do have to say, I think it all tastes better when you're a bit drunk but it was still very nice um i have just ended a zoom call with my school friends we did a quiz this afternoon which was really lovely and now i'm just uploading my video for tonight but i haven't really done all that much this afternoon not worth filming anyway obviously like going out to Matalan was low-key the highlight of my day actually no the mcdonald's was the highlight of the day this is my current view though it has been raining so heavy for the last two days it's just like miserable you can't do anything now i've got my dressing gown on because it's so bloody cold but it's not bedtime, I'm not ready for bed, but I got a delivery today from the body shop, which is just insane and I wanted to show you it in the vlog. Um, I never know whether to just put these on Instagram or to include them in the vlog as well, because I'm always so grateful to any brand that ever wants to send me anything. Huge shout out to the body shop. They're one of my favorite companies, regardless of being like a YouTuber, vlogger, Instagrammer, like before any of this, the body shop have always been one of my favorite brands and my go-to for good quality 
anything. So when I got this, I was like, oh my God, this is such a lush delivery. So they have sent me their new bath release. So they've released four different um, like bubble baths and then also four different bath bombs. I love them. So you can see here, I don't know if you can read it. The bath bombs are four pounds and the bubble baths are eight pounds. And this is what the delivery looks like. So there's four different scents. We've got pear, mango, banana, and berry. I don't know what my favourite will be. I love the banana range from the Body Shop. That's one of my favourites. We always use the Body Shop stuff as well. It's definitely a favourite in my house. And I love the message that they've put with it. They've put, one thing COVID-19 can't cancel is International Bath Day. I love that. So yeah, huge thank you to the team at the Body Shop as always. So it is now Friday and I'm going to end the vlog here. I've just sprayed some more water into my hair to try and get it to look curly again. We're on day five, four, day four. Which, to be fair, this isn't too bad. I think once it's dried, it'll look okay. Um, but I'm going to end the vlog here because I need to edit it and I feel like it's quite long already. However, just before I do, I spoke about this on my Instagram story, but I wanted to ask you guys on YouTube as well. Because over the last four nights for me, so like earlier this week for you guys, um, there was a documentary on Channel 4 called Murder in the Outback. And it was the case of Falconio and Lees. I don't know if any of you have heard of it. Basically, it's a true crime case um, where they'd gone backpacking in Australia and one of them ended up being shot. But like... Was he short? Was he not short? Is he dead? Is he not dead? Did she do it? Was a third party involved? Did they catch the right guy? Like it's very twisty turny and I just finished it last night and I wanted to ask you guys if you've watched it what you think happened because I spoke about it on Instagram and it was really nice getting everybody's response but I still have no idea where I lie in terms of who I think did what so if you've watched it let me know down in the comments what you thought of it and what you think of the case if you haven't watched it you'll be like what the heck is she talking about so I'm not gonna waffle on about it but I do really recommend you watch it you guys probably know by now I'm properly a true crime obsessy I don't know if that's the right word and I don't know if that's normal but I I watch a lot of true crime on YouTube, I watch a lot of crime documentaries and I read predominantly just true crime genre like I am here for a murder mystery and yeah I don't know what that says about me but this one was particularly good it was put together really well by Channel 4 if you haven't seen it I recommend it in my pick of the week I would say and other than that I'm gonna go as I mentioned at the beginning of the vlog don't forget to check out Skillshare if you haven't already there'll be a link in the top line in the description and I shall be back on my channel on Tuesday with a video I'm yet to film. If everything comes off and it works, I'm very excited for it. So stay tuned for Tuesday. Bye guys. <laughs>